I remember, I remember Heavenly Father God who told me you have changed the politics of the world. The politics of the world will be the politics of peace. And uh, since we have not raised an altar of publicly the po in, in, in politics, right now the Holy Spirit and I we are going to raise the altar of Jesus Christ to, to be an established altar in every politics in the earth, in the world. That the politics of now will be the politics of peace, not the politics of wars and uh, tribalism or bad politics. We stop it through the name of Jesus. Therefore, right now, the Holy Spirit and I, we raise an altar of Jesus Christ to every politics in the all nations of the earth and of the world to be a blurred which establish the peace of God in every soul, in every mind, in every system of governments, whether politics or whether whether democracy or whether republic politics, whether the, the you know politics of monarchies or things like that. Let there be the politics of peace, because in accordance with the prophetic word, he said, in the last day, God, you will cause the peace of God to happen until the rapture will, you know, will take place, or the church to be caught up. So before the rapture, before the caught up of the church, there must be the peace of God which will enable the prosperity of the kingdom of heaven all over the world. So therefore, right now, all politics, the altar of politics, which is not of God, which is of, the, of Satan, in all the nations of the world, which are dictating the system of Satan to prevail against the nations against the humanity. Right now, all these altars and kinds of politics, which is of the kingdom of darkness, which is full of lies and full of all manner of evil, the Holy Spirit and I, we destroy by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, and by the consuming fire of God in all nations of the world, in Christ Jesus, Son of the living God, from now on and forevermore, and shall never be rebuilt until Christ Jesus comes. In Jesus, my powerful son, son of the living God. And at this particular time, the Holy Spirit and I will raise the blood of Jesus Christ in every politics in the nations of the earth, in every government, in every system of the governance, whether democracy, whether monarchy, whether any types of democracy, let there be an altar of Jesus Christ which will dictate the politics of God's will even in every nation against the will of the politicians from now on, forevermore. Le masaka halakron de sembi koto sebi telem de kesen dala koto sene persen. Nere se kambu selem patah kata selem bosen. Let there be the peace of God, the peace of Jesus Christ to introduce the politics of God, which is the holy politics, which will cause the politicians to cause the nations all over the world to live the life which brings salvation and which brings brother, brotherhood in all the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. And also the blood which are, the Holy Spirit and I have raised, which is now raised in all politics, let this blood cause a revival, salvation, redemption, understanding, restoration, deliverance, the power of God, the anointing of God, to be able to be in manifestation and demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit 
in the life of every politician in all the nations of the earth and of the whole world from now on and forevermore. And the evangelism which I'm doing in the, for, in the life of every politician in the world, uh, for the politicians that are coming to me, God, they will receive the light of Christ and uh, my evangelism ministry from now on is a let it be accepted by every politicians in order for me to convert them to Christianity in all nations of the world, earth and of the world through the power in Christ Jesus' name and through the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty powerful name of Jesus Christ. Let my ministry to all politicians be with miracles, signs and wonders, salvation, deliverance, redemption, and all good manner of God's will in their lives. From now on, all master castle can do something. The peak castling us in the mighty powerful name of Jesus Christ and of the living God. Amen and amen. Because it is done. All the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, all the power, all the adoration, all the kingdom, all riches, all blessings, all goodness to you, Heavenly Father God, the Lord of heaven and the Lord of the earth. I give all. Through the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, because it belongs to you, because you have established this decree and declaration which the Holy Spirit and I have done for all politicians, spiritually and physically, in all nations of the earth and of the world. In Christ Jesus' mighty powerful name, Son of the Living God. Amen and Amen.